Give that crispiness. Super sorted. I'm doing a bit of research. Uh, how to make uh, authentic Canadian poutine. I've never had a poutine. I've always wanted to try one. Um, so I'm doing a bit of research. I found this site, uh, Authentic Canadian Poutine Recipe by uh, Jennifer. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a play with this. What cheese to use? What cheese to use for a poutine? Cheese curds. Ooh, they were a bastard to find. But I, but I found them. But I want to know the gravy. I want to know what's in the gravy. Beef stock, chicken stock. Well, I've only got beef stock. That's, that's fine. How to pronounce a poutine. If you're an English speaking Canadian, I'm not Canadian, you'll almost certainly pronounce it poutine. I'm English to start. Poutine. I, I've, always, I've always said it like that. Poutine, not poutine. Poutine. How to eat a poutine. A fork is the way to go. Yeah. I'm not knocking Canadians, I actually like them, even though I've never met one. Right, let's make some poutine. This will be the first time in years I've actually followed the bloody recipe. I'm not gonna follow it to the T, I'm just gonna get an idea. Right, poutine gravy, cornstarch, got that. Water, I think so. Butter, got that. Unbleached flour, bollocks. Beef broth, got that. Chicken broth, don't need that. Salt and pepper, got that. It sounds, it sounds shit. Right, it says make a slurry. A slurry? Not is now, it? Steve. Not now. You're fine. So, cornstarch in, some water. That's done. In a large saucepan, melt the butter, add the flour, and cook. Like I said, I, I've, I've never had a poutine. I, I'd love to try it. A poutine is a- Not now, Steve, not now, Jesus. I thought this was a bloody onion. It's a bloody, it's a bloody turnip. No idea. Bloody frozen onion. Who has one? Get your butter in. I'm gonna melt that off. Get in the flour. I'm just gonna cook this out until it smells like a cookie dough. Melt the butter, add the flour, done that, cook. Stir regularly for about five minutes until the mixture turns golden brown. So we're doing a blonde roux. Right, done that. I'm gonna have my stock in. Add the beef and chicken broth. I can see why they've done that because beef on its own can be too heavy. So they add the chicken stock just to lighten it up like a little bit. I can see that, but mine's, mine's gonna be fine. Okay, stock goes in. Right, broth's in. Now change from a spoon to a whisk. She don't say that, does she? Does she say that? Sorry, she does. Right, add the beef and chicken broth. I ain't got the chicken and bring to a boil. Well, I can do that. Right, done that. Stirring half of the cornstarch mixture and simmer for one minute. Wow, very professional. She knows her shit. I like a thick gravy, so I'm just gonna put some in there. It's looking nice. Right, I've cooked out the cornstarch, added that. It's where I want it, thickness wise, seasoned with pepper, and that's it. Is that it? All right, I'm just gonna season it and taste how it is, and I'm gonna taste it, and I'm gonna see. Where, where the bloody hell's my pepper mill? Look at that, that's how thick I like my gravy. It tastes nice, it just needs some more stuff, man. It needs more stuff. I wish you had an onion. I know what I'm gonna add. Worcester sauce, it's bloody crying for it, I tell you. Get that in. Right, what does she say? Deep fried fries. Nope, can't be asked. I ain't got a deep fryer. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna uh, boil them, boil the fries, and I'm gonna put them in an air fryer. Nothing wrong with that. Right, safety. Because this is rolling about, you just wanna snip a little bit off the end and that'll just make it flat. You want to cut everything flat. And I'm going to get these chips, fries, quite big. They've been peeled and I've uh, cut the chips, fries, into lot, you know, big, big size, you know, because these, these will shrink a little bit. So 
you want them fairly big. So I've got a pan of salted water. We're gonna boil them uh, for about eight minutes and then we're gonna bung them in the uh, air fryer. Just like uh, roast potatoes. Gonna get them nice and crispy. Right now, carefully, and I mean bloody carefully, add them to the tray. They're at just at that edge where they will break and they will not, they, they, they're just there. Right, the air fryer's preheated. Now we're gonna season it and put some uh, olive oil on there. So I'm gonna put some olive oil, salt and pepper, plenty of that. And I want to just gently Give them a little mix. I don't want to break these. I don't want to break them. Don't break. Come on. Right, put the fries in. And they cook now until golden brown and crispy. They best be bloody crispy. They are, they, they, they will be crispy. And do you know what else? Speaking of crispy, do you know what really pisses me off? Drivers that don't indicate. That's what annoys me. I just picked up my daughter and I'm like thinking, Drivers that don't indicate, where are you going? Left or right? No idea. Oh, oh wow. See that crispiness? Hose me down with a wet paper towel. My Englishness is coming out now because all I want to do is scoff these with some salt and vinegar. That's all I want to do. But I'm going to season them. Always season fried stuff when it first comes out. So I've got some cheese curds. Cheddar cheese curds garlic. I don't know if the traditional style, but this is, there were Cajun and these, and this is, the, these are the only ones I could actually get. It's supposed to be very squeaky. Yep, our squeaky fresh cheddar cheese in a natural random shape. Not squeaky. Joking. They are squeaking in my teeth, between my teeth. Okay, to prepare the poutine, add your fries or baked fries to a large clean bowl. Season lightly with salt, done that, while still warm. Add a ladle of hot poutine gravy to the bowl using tongs. Toss the fries in the gravy, add more gravy as needed to mostly coat the fries. Add the cheese curds and toss with hot fries and gravy. Serve with fresh ground pepper, serve immediately. I'm excited, I've just got to tuck in and see what this poutine's all about. I get it, it's more than chips and gravy with some squeaky cheese. Them curds, man, they, they just add a beautiful saltiness. These do. And um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful, it all works. It all works. It's better than chips and gravy. It's all about that gravy, but they, they say it's all about the gravy, but to me, it's the cheese curds. You can put various toppings on this. You, you can go to town with this. I'm glad I made it. It tastes delicious. I'm impressed with those cheese curds. First time I've had them. And uh, yeah, give this a go, give this a go. Recipes on there. I did it my way, but recipes on there, like a guide. So get your ass in the kitchen, make this, and tell me what you think. Thanks guys.